feet and take a big deep breath. <sighs> One more time. <sighs> and let's pat pat our laps. Ready? Pat, 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 pat. Morning, rock your toe, toe, toe. Good morning, rock your toe. Good morning, rock your toe, toe, toe. Good morning, rock your toe. Rock your toe to Ashley. Rock your toe to Ayla. Rock your toe to Emerson. Rock your toe to Lewis. Rock your toe to Lily. Rock your toe to James. Rock your toe to Casey. Rock your toe to Matthew. Rock your toe to Max. Rock your toe to Miriam. Rock your toe to Ren. Rock your toe to Sam. Rock your toe to Sloan B. Book your tip to Sloan, Mate Marsh, book your tip to Pia, book your tip to Miss Brooke. Hi, friends! <laughs> book your tip to Miss Megan. Hi, everybody! Book your tip to everyone. Good morning, book your tip, tip, tip. Good morning, book your tip. Hi, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Look out the window. Today is cloudy. cloudy. It's also gonna rain. You ready? There are some clouds outside today. Cloudy is the weather. C L O U D Y. C L O U D Y. C L O U D Y. And cloudy is the weather. There is some rain outside today. Rainy is the weather. R A I N Y. R A I N Y. R A I N Y. And rainy is the weather. Yay! So, friends, what are we talking about this week? No, it's not dinosaurs. And it's not <laughs> Passover. It's pines! The pines! So, me and Brooke, Miss Brooke, decided that we were going to go visit the pond and do circle time at the pond with you guys. Mm -hmm. This sounds like so much fun. So, what is a pond? A pond is a big circle of water. See? It's a circle. And in the pond, there are lots of animals. Miss Brooke, what are some animals in the pond? Um, ducks. Mm hmm And frogs. Mm hmm And fish. Mm hmm And geese. Mm hmm Um, dragonflies. Ooh. Is there an elephant in the pond? Mm, no. No. Is there a cow in the pond? No. No. Those animals don't live in the pond. That's silly. <laughs> that is silly. Okay, Brooke, are you ready to read our book? Yeah. It's called Fish is Fish. And it's about a story about a pond and friends in a pond. It's by Leo Leone. Oh, it's a big book. It is a big book. Oh, so big. Okay. At the edge of the woods, there was a pond, and there was a minnow and a tadpole that, who swam among the weeds. They were very good friends. One morning, the tadpole discovered that during the night, he had grown two little legs. Look, he said to the fish, I am a frog now. No, said the minnow, how could you be a frog? Last night, you were just a little fish like me. They argued and argued until finally the tadpole said, frogs are frogs and fish are fish, and that's it. In the weeks that followed, the tadpole's tiny feet grew bigger and his tail got smaller. And then, one fine day, a real frog now, he climbed out of the water and into the grass. The minnow had grown too, and he had become a big fish. But he often wondered where his frog had gone. Days and weeks went by. There was such a long time, and his frog friend didn't come back. Then, one day, with a happy splash that shook the weeds, the frog jumped into the pond. Where have you been? asked the fish excitedly. I have been about the world, hopping here and there, said the frog, and I have seen amazing things. Oh my goodness, what did he see? <gasps> like what? asked the fish. Birds, said the frog. Birds! And he told the fish all about birds, how birds had wings and legs and lots of 
lots of colors. As the frog talked, his friend saw the birds fly through his mind like large feathered fish. What else? asked the fish. <gasps> I saw cows, said the frog. They have four legs and they have horns and they eat grass and they have pink bags of milk. And people, said the frog, men, women, children, and he talked and talked until it was dark in the pond. But the picture in the fish's mind was full of lights and colors and marvelous things and he just couldn't sleep. Uh, if only he could jump about like his friends and see what's in the wonderful world. <gasps> Look at all those amazing things he saw. He saw fish birds and fish cows and fish people. As the days went by, the frog had gone away again, and the fish just lay there dreaming about birds and cows and people. One day, he finally decided that come what may, he too had had to see them. And so, with a mighty whack of his tail, he jumped up onto the bank and landed in the grass. He landed in the dry, warm grass, and he needed help. He said, help, help, somebody help. Because fish don't go in grass. Luckily, his friend the frog, who had been hunting butterflies nearby, saw him and he pushed him back into the pond. Still stunned, the fish floated for an instant. Then he breathed deeply, letting the cool water run through his gills. Now he can move back and forth just like he did before. The sun reached down with the weeds and gently shifted patches of color. This world was surely the most beautiful of all the worlds. He smiled at his friend the frog who sat watching him from a lily pad. You were right, he said. Fish are fish. And frogs are frogs. The, the end. end. That was a good book. That was a good book. Are we ready to sing a song about some froggies? Yes. Okay, ready? Get three little froggies. Three green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled duck eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pond where it was nice and cool. Now there are two green speckled frogs. Flub, flub. Two green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled duck eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pond where it was nice and cool. Now there is one green speckled frog. Flub, flub. One green and speckled frog sat on a speckled bug eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. He jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frogs. Flub, flub. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Brooke, I think it's time to sing a silly song to end circle. So what's your favorite silly song? My favorite silly song is Baby Bumblebee. Ooh, that's a good <laughs> one. You guys ready to catch the bumblebees? Bzzz. Oh, got I got it. it. <laughs> ready? I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. Ouch! He stung me! I'm swishing up my baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm smushing up my baby bumblebee. Ew, yucky. I'm wiping off my baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm wiping off my baby bumblebee. All clean. Yay! <coughs> okay, it's time to sing goodbye. Ready, Miss Brooke? Yeah. Shalom Haverim, Shalom Haverim, Shalom, Shalom. Till we meet again, till we meet again, Shalom, Shalom. Bye bye, friends. Bye.